Hey guys, it's Swayzo. How you doing? Back again with my cat ears. By the way, if you hear any like weird noises like snoring or something, one of the dogs is currently sleeping on my bed behind my backdrop. So <laughs> sometimes he snores a little bit. So also is anyone else just completely ready for Halloween? Like right now? <laughs> Ever since September started, I've just wanted to be, you know, spooky and dark all the time. Anyway, today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look and giving first impressions on a lace front wig from a brand called Weekend Wigs. I have done a review on one of their wigs before but they reached out to me again and asked if I wanted another wig and realistically am I ever going to say no to that offer? I said yes obviously. <laughs> so we're going to be taking a look at this wig that they sent me today and also I might as well show you the whole process of me getting a new wig and putting it on. I thought that might be useful for anyone that's new to wigs or if you just want to see that. So I guess let's just jump straight into looking at the wig. So the wig arrived in this box as most more kind of expensive brands do. I usually like to describe as like sort of hundred dollar mark because most of the wigs are usually around a hundred dollars give or take. This one in particular that I've got today is ninety five dollars I think and this brand do also have free shipping if you spend over thirty five dollars so if you get this wig then you get free shipping, which is always good. That's already a big chunk of money to be spending in one go, so you don't have to pay anything extra on top of the wig. So opening this up, um, I haven't tried on this wig. I haven't taken the wig out of the bag, so this is gonna be my first impressions. We'll see what the quality is like compared to the other wig that I have from them. Let's see if they're consistent with the quality. If you do want to check out that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It is quite old now. I don't know what I'm like in that video. I feel like I'm I've changed a lot but I have no idea I haven't seen that video since I uploaded it so I can't promise you that it's a good video or not because I don't know but if you are curious and want to watch it anyway link is in the description so here is the wig in a bag as usual and also in the box we have two wig caps I've said this a couple of times but more stocking style wig caps like these I think are always the best thing to use for a lace front because obviously the lace is see-through these are always Always best especially if they are close to your skin color I feel like these are a bit dark for me I think I have lighter ones I mean it doesn't have to be exact no one's gonna be looking up close at your parting to check that it's the same color but you know I don't think you can choose the color of the wig cap it would be useful if you could but you can get wig caps online like on Amazon for really cheap also in the box we get this tag that just says weekend wigs on it and also some hair clips which is useful you can never have too many bobby pins especially because they are constantly going missing. <laughs> I would assume that this wig has the combs in it that you can slide into your hair to keep it in place but I guess if you want it to be extra secure you can use these bobby pins. They're nice and big and long so they should work pretty well. So that's all we've got in the box so let's take a look at the wig. As usual this arrives in a hairnet scrunched up tissue that I never know. I never know what to call this but you know this in the cap region as usual. And here is the wig. It feels nice and smooth. This is how much lace you get. As you can see the lace goes further back in the middle here so you'll have more parting space if you part it in the middle. I don't know if that's really what I want to do just yet. It does look like it has a slight set parting in the middle but it doesn't look too deep set so I think you could easily move the parting around. This actually has four combs. Um, I'm more used to wigs having three combs so I like that it has an extra one. We've got two on the sides, one at the bottom here and one right at the top so this should be nice and secure and also there's the extra bobby pins if you want to make sure it's like really really secure on your head. It seems to be constructed pretty well. There's no faults in the stitching, there's nothing that looks messy. It seems really well put together. The lace feels quite smooth too. I feel like I may have had softer lace before but this is definitely on the smoother side of all the laces that I've had so I don't want to waste too much time. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the lace and put this on and then we'll get into my thoughts and opinions about it. I'm just gonna take my scissors and just cut the lace as I normally do. Honestly I usually do this quite quickly because I'm lazy. <laughs> I mean I've done it quite a lot of times by now so it doesn't really take me that long. Not that I'm like flexing on my lace cutting skills but <laughs> I know some people get intimidated by cutting the lace but it's really not that difficult. I usually start right in the middle and 
cut down. I find it easiest to start in the middle and then work my way to the sides. So I just cut down the middle. I like to cut it as close to the hairline as possible. I just always feel like it looks the best that way. Of course you don't have to do that. If you like to glue your lace fronts down it might be worth leaving a bit more room or if you are a bit nervous about cutting lace you could leave more and if you want to go back and make it closer to the hairline you always can go back in and do that if you want to. So starting from the middle I'm just gonna cut round. Having my fingers under the lace like this helps keep the lace flat and easy to cut and also helps me to see where the hair actually starts. Some people like to do this with their wigs on their head and some people like to do it on a wig head like a styrofoam head. Just do whatever works for you. I like to do it this way. I'm sorry I'm not really like showing you exactly but I hope you kind of get what I mean. I do have a video where I show more in depth how I put on lace front wigs and like trim the lace and everything so I can't remember which video exactly it is but I will leave a link to that in the description if you want a more like in depth sort of tutorial on how I do this. So there's the lace all cut and ready to put on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on a wig cap. Goodbye cat's ears. So like I said just a normal stocking wig cap like this and I just put it on my head. And then what I usually do with the hair at the back here I kind of twist it a little bit. It's just easier to manage that way and just push it into my wig cap. Smush it, push it. And then once I've got all my hair in my wig cap, I hold the back here, use my other hand to sort of smush my hair around to make my head as flat as possible. And there we go. Ta-da! So I'm going to take this wig and I'm going to first of all hook these elastic straps to make it match my head size. Just hook it onto any random size and then put it on to see if you need to make it tighter or looser. Until it fits you right, take the wig and pull it onto your head. Easy peasy. I think I'm gonna make that a little bit tighter. Let's try again. Yeah, that's good enough. So I like to bring my wigs down a little bit onto my forehead because as you probably saw, I have a very large forehead <laughs> and I like to use wigs to make it look smaller. You obviously don't need to do that. Wigs a lot of the time can look a lot more natural if you make the wigs start where your natural hairline starts but I don't really want to make it start that far back on my head. So my first impressions of this wig, this is like really really comfortable. Putting this on straight away I am really surprised at how comfortable this is. It's really not heavy at all and it's not itchy. I feel like maybe the cap is... I don't know, no the size is pretty good. It might be just a tiny bit big for my head. I don't mean the size with the elastic straps, I mean the overall cap size might be a tiny bit big. With the lace part here being a bit too wide for my head, um, I may need to glue the lace down if I wanted to say wear this out all day just so the lace doesn't flap up randomly. But wearing this indoors and for pictures and stuff, the lace seems to be laying pretty flat on my head so I don't think I would feel the need to glue this down every time which if you watch any of my lace front wig reviews you know that is a bonus for me. I'm not a fan of gluing down my wigs, I prefer them to just be easy and put them on and they're flat on your head and that's it. Um, I'd say this is flat enough for again if I was going to be just wearing it indoors and I wasn't going out like most days. <laughs> I just think the lace is a little bit loose for me personally. I know I do have a small head though so honestly a lot of the time if the lace is a little bit flappy on my wigs I do a lot of the time just use bobby pins to like pin it down so it's more tight on my head. I like to bypass using glue as much as I can just because I don't like using it. <laughs> Obviously you can if you want to. So before I do anything else to this wig I'm gonna go ahead and give some quick information about it from the website. So this is the Light Lavender Synthetic Lace Front Wig and the SKU number is WW075. Like I said earlier, this is $95. It is a synthetic wig, which I think it does have some of that synthetic shine to it. So it's clear that it's not human hair and it's heat friendly. So you can use heat on it to style it if you want to. But as always, please, please use a low heat. Try to use the lowest temperature that you can because just because it says it's heat friendly does not mean it can tolerate really high temperatures. I don't think anyone really wants to ruin a $95 wig so if you're unsure about whether the temperature is okay for the wig do like a small strand test like some of the hair that you can't see very well so you can see how the wig will react. The length is 24 inches. I guess I'll just stand up quickly and show you. It comes down to about my waist and as you can see it's got these layers 
those in as well. I'm around five foot four, just to give you some reference. The cap size is average and they give the circumference, which is 22 inches. I guess the circumference of my head is just a little bit smaller than that. The cap construction is lace front with wefted back, which is true. Restylable up to 170 degrees Celsius. So that ties into the first bullet point. Um, don't go any higher than 170 degrees Celsius. Adjustable straps and three combs for a secure fit. It says three, but there's four. 1.5 inches of parting space on a soft invisible lace front. I guess that's how far that goes. And it includes a free wig cap. Like I said, it does have a bit of a shine, as you can see. Bear in mind, the shine will be kind of amplified in this video because I do have a big ring light that's very bright and shines directly onto me so that does usually make my wigs look a little bit more shiny than they are in like natural light so this is what the shine looks like with the light on I'll quickly turn the light off so you can see what it looks like without wow my light really is useful for video quality um but here's what the wig looks like in normal light we've got some natural light coming from my window so this is what the shine is like without the ring light on I think the shine actually is really good it's definitely not cheap looking in natural light. I'd say it's actually really good. I'm really impressed by that. I'm gonna turn my ring light back on. <laughs> Ooh. So with the light on, it obviously is a little bit more shiny. This wig also does feel quite smooth and silky. It definitely doesn't feel like human hair. Like when you feel it, you can tell that it is plastic, but it's a really smooth and silky plastic. Yeah, so especially after brushing through it the first time, I feel like you can see it's really, really nice and silky. And I'm not really getting any shedding either. So that's always a good thing. I think the only negative for me at the moment would be I wish the cap size was a little bit smaller, but so far everything else seems pretty positive. I do think I want to change the parting though. I'm gonna try parting it to the side, which unfortunately means I get a bit less space but that doesn't bother me too much i'm not gonna make it like a super defined parting it's gonna be more like a sort of whooshed back sort of side parting so just brushing that to the side it doesn't seem too difficult to change the parting on this this did arrive in a sort of middle parting but it wasn't super defined so it's pretty easy to move the parting some lace fronts are like really really set in a set parting and it's kind of difficult to move the parting sometimes but this is pretty easy to do i'm trying to use the screen on my camera as a mirror right now so i don't know if this is completely neat i think i'm gonna like go to my mirror and make it neater but that's the general idea of how I part my wigs. Nothing really special, just grab the hair and move it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and look closer in my mirror and make sure it's all neat and everything. So I will be back in just a second. Okay, so now that I've got the parting basically where I want it, I'm just gonna brush through everything and make sure nothing gets tangled. And I think I just wanna back comb it a little bit just to kind of give it some more volume. I usually like to back comb the, where the parting is a little bit just to give it some more like oomph. I also feel like back combing it just a little bit helps keep it in place. I think I also want to cut it just a little bit, kind of do a sort of like graduating thing at the front part here, going down. Um, I feel like that will help it frame my face a little bit better. Just taking this front piece here and I'm going to twist this like that so it's easier for me to cut it so I can, you know, cut sideways like this as opposed to trying to do it like that. I'm just going to very lightly and hopefully that did something. Actually, I'm just gonna take strands and like kind of just do it randomly. Probably shouldn't be using my camera as a mirror right now, but kind of got like an emo side fringe going on at the moment. I also wanna trim this side a little bit as well, just to make it frame my face a little bit better. Not too much though. So I think that's all I really wanted to trim off. Not much at all, really. So yeah, there's that. Something else I know some people like to do is um, pluck the hairline. It is what it sounds like. You just pluck some of the hair out to make the hairline a bit more thin. Um, it helps to make the wig look more natural. I honestly never do that because I'm lazy. <laughs> I probably should because it can really help to make a wig look a lot more natural, but I just can't be bothered most of the time 
to be completely honest. I think for the most part this is how I'm gonna keep the wig, although I am going to use those bobby pins because the lace is a little bit flappy for my liking and I want it to be a bit more flat on my head. So I'm gonna take these and I like to pull the lace down on each side, so pulling this side down so it's nice and flat and tight on my head. Taking the bobby pin and I usually kind of pin it into my wig cap. I try not to get too much of the hair into it because I don't want the bobby pin to show. I'm going to do that again actually a bit more low down. I don't want it to show through the wig. That should do it for that side. I really like how big and thick these are actually. It makes doing this a lot easier. And pulling this side down as well. Take my bobby pin and I think I'm going to use two on this side just to make sure. Now the lace is laying a lot more flat on my head so that's good. And it's also extra secure on my head because it's pinned down. That's not the wig looks like now. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's everything I suppose. I really like how this wig looks. It feels really comfortable and smooth. I guess the two things that I would say about this wig to make it perfect would be I do wish the overall wig cap and the lace was a bit smaller. That is kind of a me problem. That's like just my head size. If you have a bigger head than me then you should be fine. And also another thing, I feel like the lace is just a little bit too dark for me. I still really like this wig and I can try to lighten it with concealer. I don't usually like to use too much concealer for my wigs because when you put concealer on lace, especially when you look up close, it can look a little bit like kind of thick I guess, like a bit cakey. You can see the concealer on it. From far enough away it usually looks fine but if you look up close it can look a little bit weird so I tend to try not to do that but I might have to do that with this wig if it bothers me too much because it is just a little bit too dark for my skin. I am quite pale though as you can probably see. Lace colour can be kind of difficult because everyone has a different skin colour so it's hard to find lace that perfectly fits your skin colour. That's not really me complaining about the wig itself. It's just those are issues with me personally with the wig, but it's not the wig itself, if that makes sense. Overall, I'm really impressed with this wig. I really like it. I will leave a link to the Weekend Wigs website down in the description below and also a link to this wig in particular. They did give me a coupon code which you can use for 10% off and that code is SWAZO. So if you do want to get a wig from their website, you can use that code and you get 10% off. As far as I'm aware, I don't get any commission for that. It's just for you guys to save some money. Also, if you were wondering, these super awesome contact lenses, these are the Blitz White lenses, I think they're called, from Pastel Dreams. Again, for Pastel Dreams, you can use my coupon code SWAZO for 10% off. I'll also leave a link to these lenses in the description as well. Let me know in the comments what you think of this wig. Do you think it's worth it? Have you ever bought from this company before? Let me know in the comments. If you'd like to follow me on my other social medias, my Instagram is Swayzo Chan and my Twitter is Swayzo Chan with an extra N at the end. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful day and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!